Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.47 You are only eligible to perform your prescribed work, but you have no right to the fruit of your action. You should not consider yourself to be the cause of the result of your actions, nor should you become attached to neglecting your duties. Sar Ardavarshini Sri Bhagavan is the instructor of Gyan Yoga, the path of spiritual advancement through transcendental knowledge. Bhakti Yoga, the path of loving devotion, and Karma Yoga, the path of spiritual advancement, where the fruit of one's pious action is offered to the Lord. So far, he has directed his instructions about Gyan Yoga and Bhakti Yoga to his dear friend Arjuna. Now, having considered Arjuna's ineligibility to perform these two processes, he explains selfless action, or Nishkama Karma Yoga, in two verses, the first beginning with Karmani. By the words Ma Paleshu, Krishna intends to say that those who desire the fruit of their action have extremely impure hearts. Your heart, however, is almost pure. I know this, and that is why I am speaking in this way. If one points out that any action one performs will bear fruit, Sri Bhagavan responds, Ma karma pala hetur buhu. A person becomes the cause of the fruit of action only when he acts with a desire for it. You should not act like that. I bless you to not fall into this category. A karma means neglecting prescribed duties, and V karma means performing sinful activities. You should not become attached to either of these. Rather, you should despise them. I again bless you that you will be able to do this. In the Gita 3.2, Arjuna says, Vyami Sreneva Vakyena Budhim Muha Yasiva Me My intelligence is bewildered by your apparently ambitious instructions. From this it should be understood that the previous statements in this chapter are not entirely considered with later statements. But here, Sri Krishna's inner feelings towards Arjuna are worth considering, just as I have become your subordinate by acting as your chariot driver, similarly you should also become a follower of my order. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti Through Arjuna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is giving instruction on selfless action offered to the Supreme Lord for those who do not have the eligibility to follow the paths of Gyan Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. In Srimad Bhagavatam 11.3.43 it is stated Karma, Karma Bikarmeti Veda Vaduna Lokikaha. An understanding of action, karma, non performance of prescribed religious duties within the Varn Ashram system, a karma, and sinful action, vikarma, can only come from the Vedic literature, not from the words of mundane persons. Srila Bhaktivinod Thakur quotes Krishna as saying, There are three types of karma to consider. Karma, akarma and vikarma. Of these, vikarma, engaging in sinful activities, and akarma, non-performance of prescribed religious duties within the Varn Ashram system, are extremely inauspicious. You should not desire them. Give up vikarma and akarma and carefully follow the path of karma. Karma is of three types, 
daily duties, nitya karma, occasional duties, namitika karma, and fruitive activities, kamya karma. Of these three, the last is most inauspicious. Those who perform kamya karma become the cause of the fruit of their activities. So it is for your benefit that I am telling you to not adopt this method of action. Because if you do, you will become the cause of the results of your actions. You have the right to perform your prescribed duties, but you do not have the right to the fruits of any action. It is acceptable for those who take shelter of yoga to perform Nitya Karma and Namitika Karma solely in order to maintain their lives.